Hello boys and girls, it's me again, OpusXPN here, and bringing you a video on some stuff that I got. This one is on an Opinel knife. This is actually my first uh, folding Opinel. Um, I wanted to see what all the fuss was about when it came to the little folding knives. Um, this one is called, I think it's called the Trekker, and the color is the Slate. Uh, they come with a stainless steel blade. Uh, and the number is number number eight. It comes with this leather um, linger on it, and this is the little cardboard tag that comes in many friends up and down stuff. Um, it's a pretty decent knife from size. Uh, it's called a pen knife. They're very primitive. Uh, the mechanism is very 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 simple. You just have a, a snap ring on top of your main um, steel brace for the pivot point on the knife. So this one has the new uh, locking mechanism. So you lock it. That notch locks the blade closed <clears throat> on the inside the um, the wood handle, so the, it won't open because you have that um, that notch there catching it. So when you twist it open you twist this so you can you know align it and then it opens up the stainless steel blade um, to lock the blade again you have to turn it twist it so it locks the blade open um, this come in uh, stainless steel and I wanted a stainless steel one I had some carbon ones um, on the pairing knives I got a uh, stainless and carbon pretty good knives but on the folding that wire stainless um, it's a pretty decent um, blade it's thin and it's a full flat grind I think um, and it actually shapes pretty good um, I was trying out uh, I was playing with my fat wood what he say um, I was shaving off some uh, to start a little fire there and um, I was shaving off uh, a stick and uh, making some uh, little, just little, you know, curls so I can just mess with it and um, and uh, the the blade works pretty good. It shaved off the uh, fat way, went through it really, really, really quick. Um, didn't hesitate to go through it. Uh, and then this is where you see all this crud there on the blade. Uh, I washed it with soap, but... You still have some, I mean, that stuff is resin, so it's going to be sticky. I need to run some uh, alcohol or maybe some hand sanitizer to remove it. Um, and I'll do that. Um, as far as the knife itself, it's a pretty decent knife. It's a good pocket knife. Um, it's bulky, but it doesn't weigh much. Um, the locking mechanism, well, there's some wobble up and down and side to side, so... You know, it's it's a it's a it's a utilitarian knife, but for very minor uh, work. I mean, uh, it's not a particle. It's not a folding Kershaw. It's it, you you. It's made out of um, the body or the scales. It's made out of wood, and also where the main pivot is is um, wood also. So, you know, there is. You know a, a weak point there on the blade so you cannot really put too much pressure or force on it because you probably will break it or bend it so um, that's the only thing with the with this knife that I see I haven't done that much or haven't put that much pressure on it because I don't want to break it um, but uh, from what I try with the fat wood I mean it works but you have to brace it with your fingers basically I mean there's you cannot just do it by by itself and just go like you know what I had to do was actually use my thumb as a brace for the blade so I can start shaving off um, on the tinder uh, so it does need some kind of support in order for you not to or relieve some of the pressure on the pivot point so that's my take on this up and down. it's a pretty decent knife very traditional old-fashioned and I have some traditional knives that I like. Um, 
but I had never tried a, an open gel folding knife, so I wanted to see what it was about. I'm not thrilled about it. It's a very nice knife. It's a very good knife. They're very collectible, but you know, it's not not my cup of coffee. Um, but it's an alright knife. You know, it's, it's it's decent, and and I will carry it once in a while. Just you know, it, it's a decent knife for EDC, like for light duty, maybe a little bit of medium duty, but mostly light duty. So that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you soon again. Bye.